So I want to specially bring um, a word of apology to my fellow Nigerians and my brothers and friends in Nigeria, men of God in Nigeria who have uh, felt offended through my message that was secreting around the world. It wasn't my intention to create a tribalism and also create a division within the body of Christ. It came out of order and I want to apologize to all my friends and brothers around the world especially my brothers in Nigeria I have been blessed by Nigerian church many times and likewise myself I have also rendered a lot of opportunities and blessings to a lot of Nigerians I have no intention I have no kind of uh, mentality to destroy the kind of render and services that I have received many years ago it came out of order and I condemn that kind of art we have received a lot of messages we have received videos we have received all kinds of comment uh, from around the world especially from my senior brothers that I have grew up with and they have been a blessing to me I have also been a blessing to many many Nigerians in this country in Ghana by the grace of God I have received a lot of Nigerians in my church here in Ghana and I've been a blessing to many many people I have friends all across the country Nigeria so there is no way I will destroy and also insult or render a certain kind of message to look down on my fellow Nigerians it came out of order and I deeply say I'm sorry and I condemn that kind of act I'm a man of peace and therefore I will not in any way say that it came out of order and I do not I repeat I do not intend to insult and to say anything that will bring the nation of Nigeria or my people in a certain way no that's not and I have no malice I have no hatred I have no jealousy of anything I am equally blessed by whatever any man of God have to be blessed by the grace of God you all know it's not that bad jealousy it's not about hatred of the Nigerian church it's not about hatred of a certain man of God no I was acknowledging the fact that Nigerians support their own Nigerians are very very supportive they honor their men of God they respect their men of God and I love it in that way and I wanted our people here in Ghana to emulate that but in doing that I think that my my conversation went out of order and I don't you know take it uh, as a lightweight I want to render an apology to all friends and brothers and all brothers in the kingdom who has been offended by the grace of God I've received a lot of men of God sometimes I've not even invited them in Ghana sometimes I will just be there and from the airport I'll be called that my brothers from Nigeria maybe somebody have disappointed them or something of that sort and I have to arrange to pick them up and to set them up to preach in this country I've received numerous men of God in this country that are from Nigeria and so they have also a lot of men of God has opened their doors for me I lived in Nigeria for almost seven years ministering all the 50 something states in Nigeria I had my schooling uh, in Nigeria so I can never 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 say anything to to destroy the relationship and the good love and the good people of nigeria it came out of order and i condemn that kind of act god bless you thank you for forgiving thank you for loving thank you for all those men of god brothers and friends who have reached out to me and said bishop no we know what you are saying is true but in delivering the message something came out that looked like you are in hatred that looked like you are in bitterness that looked like you are something no never never there is nothing like hatred there's nothing like bitterness I am so sorry again condemn my message my word of hatred or whatsoever that came out God